What's up everyone? Today I wanted to briefly talk about what happens to the stack when you call a procedure in assembly language. Now today I'll be working in x86 assembly language, but this should translate into any assembly language you use. So let's get started. All right, so here I have a little bit of sample code that I wrote. None of the instructions in here mean anything, just an example. Right now, the CPU is executing this line of code, but the, the instruction pointer is pointing to the next line of code to be executed. Once this is done executing, it will move on to here. The instruction pointer will point to the next line. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and just step right through this, okay? Now we're executing this line of code. The EIP is pointing to the next line of code to be executed, and nothing is happening with the stack. The stack pointer, or the ESP, is just showing the location of the last thing that was pushed onto the stack, okay? The ESP is going to stay the same until something else is pushed onto the stack, or popped off of the stack. Okay, so the next line here, 1022, EIP is pointing to 1024, which is where we will call the procedure. Nothing is changing in the stack. Okay, let's move on to the next line where we call the procedure. So the EIP is pointing to the next line after the procedure is called. Okay, that's not the line we want to execute. So the first thing the computer will do is decrement the ESP. So we're going to take this location right here, and that's going to become our ESP, okay? And then we push the EIP into that location on the top of the stack. So we think of the stack as like a deck of cards, okay? With the top being the lowest number and the bottom being the highest number. All right, when we push something onto the top, we want to point to that thing, so we have to move the number down, all right? We're going up in the stack, and the numbers are decreasing, as you see here. All we're doing is the ESP is pointing to the most recently used stack location. Anytime you push something on the stack, the ESP will then point to that. Anytime you pop something off, it'll increment back to its previous location. So now that we've pushed the EIP location onto the stack, we're going to move through and execute that procedure. All right, so here we are about to execute the procedure. First line of the procedure, nothing is changing in the ESP, nothing is changing in the stack. Moving our way through, next line, multiply. All right, and when we get to this return, the ESP is going to increment. At the same time, we're going to pop the 1026 out of the stack, back into the EIP, so that it knows what's next, okay? So the next line to be executed is move AL, BL. It's also worth noting that the location in the stack at address 15, it stays there. It doesn't go away, the ESP just points to the previous location, okay? So the EIP is pointing to 1026. Let's go ahead and move up there. Boom, 1026, EIP is pointing to 1028, everything increments. Looks lovely, okay? So let's just recap. As you're going through a program and you get to a call, the call will push the EIP onto the top of the stack the ESP will decrement to show where we just pushed it. You execute that procedure, and when you hit return, that location is popped off of the stack back into the EIP, and we continue on from there. Anytime there's a call and a return, the ESP decrements and increments by four, respectively. The only time it will increment or decrement by two is if you're using the push and pop command on a 16-bit register. So if you say push BX, It'll push BX onto the stack, decrement by two. All right, well, that's it. I hope this helped clear up what happens to the stack in assembly language when you call a procedure. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment. Or if I mess something up, feel free to leave that in a comment. I'm just a computer science student in my first semester. But thanks for watching and keep coding.